we're getting dim sum. I'm not sure where we're going. I think we ate too much food, Lindsay. Uh-oh. How many macros do you think we consumed? All of them. Yeah. I don't like think there's a single carb left. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. Neither do I. I think we should just keep going straight, to be honest. Um, so dim sum's done. We're going to wander around Chinatown now. Uh, and maybe walk back three miles to Dad's place. And then, we get more macros. And, and then we'll get more food with Dad. Oh, no. Hello, my internet friends. Thank you for clicking on episode two of my vlog. This was an exciting day in New York. We wandered around after eating food with my dad. We made our way up through Union Square where we found a uh, little surprise, a Kellogg store that specialized in cereal of all things. When was the last time you had real cereal like this? Honestly, couldn't tell you. It's been at least over a year. Like since I've had sugar cereal? Mm -hmm. Many years. Oh my god, you're making a actual mess. This is just gonna be a, a like, what? John makes a mess part one, two, three, four, I'm five. I'm like four. What? I'm like four. So to walk. What, what was it? 20 blocks, we have sugar. Was Carbs, chocolate, sugar. Was, uh, chocolate frosted flakes worth, worth it? Eh. Would you buy it? If I had macros. So if we did cardio every day, you'd buy it. But am I gonna do cardio every nope, day? Nope, except for right now. <laughs> 20 blocks later. After our little refueling session at the Kellogg store. We walked another 30 blocks, just exploring the city and taking in the atmosphere of it. Then we made our way back to my dad's place, which was a really long walk, but a little counterproductive because pretty much the second we got to his place, we just had to head back out to more food. And where we went was probably the best site we saw while we were in New York City. My friend, or his friend, my dad's friend, had an apartment that had a beautiful view over Central Park. And I couldn't have asked for anything more. Our entire day was very exhausting. This was only our third day in New York City. But we saw so much. We were in the heart of Chinatown, saw Soho, and... Houston or whatever else. It's a lot of walking, but it was totally worth it. Uh, 20,000 steps. I'm done for the day. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, we're on day four. Day four of New York. One of the things that uh, I, we were talking about was being more conscious of documenting the things that we do in our lives. I think one of the things that I have always done is I've always avoided taking photos and video because I was too self-conscious, not confident enough. So the point of this today is to document and since the theme of this episode is to look back and reflect, I think it's important to keep documenting and keep taking my camera out. And I encourage you to take your camera out and do these things because when you look back on photos five years from now, you'll appreciate it what you did then versus trying to remember fragments and pieces without any physical manifestation. So today, we're doing Central Park and Probably getting a cookie. 
right? Yep. That was a good sandwich. Classic New York deli. Was that cookie worth it? Finally got your New York cookie? Yeah. All right. But now I need a chocolate chip cookie. Oh, no. Or All we right. could just go in this place. What's this place? They just have bank Oh, wow. If we had gone one more down, we could have gotten wow. more cookies. So obviously, on our second day, we did more walking. We were around Central Park and we saw some really cool things. We saw some street performers do a fantastic job flipping over a bunch of people. And our goal this time was to not die. We're dead. So we're gonna sit for a while. I don't know how long we're gonna sit. If I we, fits, I sit. But we fits right now, so. Um, we're not going back to the apartment, but we're gonna just chill here until we recover, which might be never. You know, the thing I really like about New York is there's like something to see everywhere. So like if you look behind me, that's Times Square, and we are fortunate enough to stay in the middle of Times Square with my dad, who has an apartment here. If you look over on the other side, there's Lindsay. I know. And behind that is the water. That is the... What is that? The Hudson River? It's New York water. We'll see the New York water probably tomorrow, but I think the game plan tonight is we'll eat food, we'll go out, do some night photos in Times Square, maybe Rockefeller Center, and get some quote unquote bangers, as the YouTube folk would say. But yeah, in the city, there's always something cool to see. Like that building right there just looks kind of cool. And you can just take a photo of that and be like, that's a thing. It's just a really awesome city to get some shots almost everywhere. All right, Lindsay, where are we going? We're gonna get fun ice cream. Where are we going, what's it called? Milk Bar. Milk Bar. Obviously, Lindsay and I spent a lot of time really embracing the food culture, but we're glad we did it in the way we did, at least on these two days, because we could have spent hundreds of dollars spending a lot of money on planned, touristy, guided things. And those are all fun, but I think there is something really special about exploring a town, a city, and its culture on your own time and on your own terms. We got to see people, we got to see neighborhoods and communities, and that's probably my favorite part of New York, being able to embrace the culture of such a uh, beautiful city. So that was this episode of, uh, of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching, if you made it this far. And until next time, I will see you people in uh, the next video. Bye.